Hello everybody and welcome to iVision. One thing that every Irish man loves to do is to go to a nice cozy pub to have a few pints. I'm actually standing beside one, but with a difference. I'm standing beside the oldest pub in Europe. It's called the Sean's Bar. It's situated in Athlone, near the west bank of River Shan. This pub has been in existence from the year 980, which is actually 1150 years ago. It's in the Guinness Book of Records from the year 2004 as the oldest pub in Europe. So today, we're actually going to show you the whole of the Sean's pub. Take a tour inside and let's see what we're going to find. Have a look. Where are you going? What have you seen? Have you been to Ireland? Where do you come from? It's nice to meet you here. So come to Ireland. Have you been to the pub? An Irish pub? Down your strassa or street To sample the black Enjoy the crack There's always a friend to meet There's a smile in this place From an Irish face As soon as you step inside From me to you There's a welcome here too Cave a falter to you where are you going? What have you seen? Have you been to Ireland? Where do you come from? It's nice to meet you here. So come to Ireland. From home for the Irish alone, wherever they choose to be, caring for their needs, meeting new friends from over the Irish Sea. Who welcomes the same, whatever's your name, as you step inside that door? Sing to the tune. Of the Irish session, it's Irish. It's so, friends, Ireland. with me today is Timmy O'Donovan of Sean's Pub, uh, Sean's Bar. Uh, let me start off uh, by asking him the question. Um, can you just tell me briefly the history of this pub? Well, you're very welcome to Sean's. Sean's is a documented and detailed history dating right back to 900 AD. We're dated by the National Museum and certified by the Guinness Book of World Records. This is part of the old walls here, folks, which are made of wattle and wicker, which is interwoven hazel held together with horsehair and clay. And that section of walls actually comes from upstairs during renovations in 1968. The rest of the walls from upstairs are on display at the National Museum in Dublin, along with the old coins that Lewin, who was the very first person here in 900, the old coins that he minted for barter with his customers. Those silver tokens are dated to 900 and pre-900, and they're also on display with the National Museum in Dublin. But I said that section of walls is from upstairs, but inside all of these walls, the whole way around, that's actually what's in there. It's still the same original building, dating right back to 900 AD. This is called Main Street along here, and the old cobbled Main Street that led to the crossing point on the River Shannon is actually buried beneath the beer garden out the back. Now, the reason, Lewin was the very first person to have the bar here, and the reason he situated the bar here was because... You have the River Shannon out the back, which is fed by Loch Ree, which is a huge big lake. It's 13 miles long by 8 miles wide. And then it funnels into the River Shannon here at Lone. And you had to come the whole way around the crossing point. And it's the very first crossing point you met was directly at the back door. And that's why Lewin situated the bar here. He guided people across the old ford. Now, as, as I said then, a settlement built up around the pub and the crossing point, and in 1100 they built the first wooden castle to guard that settlement, and that settlement became known in Irish as Aha Luan, which meant the Ford of Luan, or the Place of Luan, and today Aha Luan is actually the Irish for at Lone. So the town took its name from the bar, dating right back to 900 AD. As I said, we're dated by the National Museum and certified by the Guinness Book of World Records. We're the oldest pub in Ireland, the oldest pub in the British Isles, and in the next edition of the Guinness World Records, when they print the oldest pub, we'll be the oldest pub in the world in existence. And you're very welcome.
Thank you so much. Fantastic news. Um, one thing that actually caught my interest was the fact that a lot of celebrities actually came through those doors. Can you just t tell me briefly of some of those interesting ones that you had? Well, we've probably had just about every musician in the country comes in here at some stage and ends up in a session somewhere along the way. But uh, you've, you would have a huge amount of celebrities, uh, not just Irish, but worldwide. You, you don't, when the door opens, you don't know who's going to walk in. It could be anyone. <laughs> Thank you. Boy George, I heard, was actually uh, was in charge of the ownership at one stage. Uh, was that true? Or? No, that was not, not true at all. That was actually an April Fool's joke that somebody put on the internet and it stuck out there. I don't know how that came around at all after that. Right, okay. Now, just regarding about the, uh, the basic activities, I know you actually serve alcohol. And uh, is there anything else that you do uh, regarding uh, music or concert and stuff like that? Well, every night we'd have music. We'd have music both in the bar and also in the, in the beer garden. We have another bar out there. So you have music seven nights a week. Okay. I know, Timmy, a uh, lot of people have been asking questions like that, especially we have seen an influx of, of tourists even today. Um, are you not bored on answering the same questions all over and all over again? Not at all. It's great to chat to people and you'll make mistakes along the way and you'll have a laugh at it. And no, not at all, no. Well used. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you, thank you so much for your time. You're very well. Thank you. Thank you. So friends, I hope you've all enjoyed the Sean's Pub. So till we come back again with another place or personality, it's a goodbye from my vision. Thank you. Face as soon as you step inside From me to you There's a welcome here too K-Mail of to you Where are you going? What have you seen? Have you been to Ireland?